So right now I got these bunch of datas and you can see that uh, there are a lot of them. So there may be times when you have millions and millions of datas over there and you might want to find something. So you can use find and replace but it does take a lot of time for that. So what I'm going to do is use something called filter. So I can simply select this out just like this and then I can filter this out. For that I'm going to go into data right here and there you go there's filter. So simply click on that and here you can see that the filter has been applied. So now if I just want to see the gadgets, I can simply click over here and just deselect this and the select gadgets right here. Press OK and the other data, they have not been deleted. They just have been hidden right there. So let's say this is the one for expiry. I can actually go here because this, this is the date. You can see that I can list them by the ones uh, which expiry date is in November or December. So I'm just going to list the one with November. So now I got two filters over here. So I'm seeing the products with uh, category of gadgets and expiry. And let's say now I just want to see uh, products with price higher than 80. So over here, you can see that I do have the formula, but it is not higher. So I don't have um, an option there. To do that, I can go to number filter right here and I want it greater than 80. So in greater than 80 and OK. So you can see that now only the ones where uh, these price ranges are actually shown. So you can see that the number filter has been applied. Similarly, you can also apply date filters. So this can be next week, last week and so forth. So next month, this month and so forth. So you can see that you can easily filter everything out right there. You want to remove the filter, just select this out, remove the filter and the filter is gone. Uh, alternatively, you can also just select the data right here and then go to filter just like this. Filter by sales value, filter by color and so forth. So I'm going to filter by value and you can see that filter has been applied. So I can simply select all of these because I haven't applied any filter over here. For the price, I'm going to display all of it and you can see that all of them uh, appeared. So I can go over here. Even if I have many number of uh, categories over there, I can simply type, let's say, for example, I'm going to add in GA. So you can see that gadgets and games are being selected now and press OK. And both are selected just like that. So that is how you can use filters inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.